Hey there, math students. I hope you're having a super great day. Let's learn about pay periods. So the first type of pay period I'm going to go over is if you're working at your job and you get paid weekly. That simply means you get paid every week. Therefore, you're going to receive 52 paychecks per year or annually. So if you see the word annually, it simply means for the whole year. Same thing. And you might want to take notes on this to help you remember it as you're working through the video. And in this situation, if you're paid weekly, your payday usually falls on the same day each week. Now let's look at another type of pay period. Bi-weekly. And this can get a little confusing, but the way I remember it is the prefix bi means every other for finance. And that simply means that you are paid every other week. So you are paid every two weeks. So try to remember that for your finance class that bi means every other and that will really help you remember a bi-weekly pay period. So in other words, you're going to receive 26 paychecks per year or 26 paychecks annually. And if you're paid bi-weekly, your payday falls on the same day of the week. Now, in the next slide, I'm going to go over semi-monthly, and the biggest confusion in finance is between bi-weekly and semi-monthly, so make sure you write down somewhere or remember that bi-weekly is 26 paychecks per year. Now, let's go to a semi-monthly pay period. There's a lot of confusion here with the word semi. For finance, the way I remember it is that semi means twice. It means, in this situation, that you are paid twice a month. Now you might be thinking semi means half and it does as well especially in geometry if you have a semicircle it's half a circle but I strongly recommend to help you remember semi-monthly that for your finance class and with time semi means twice. So again semi-monthly you're paid twice a month and remember there's 12 months in a year so in this situation, you have 24 paychecks per year. You want to remember that. So again, on the previous slide, bi-weekly is 26 paychecks per year, but semi-monthly is 24 paychecks per year. And if you're paid semi-monthly, your payday will fall on the same dates each month. For example, you could be paid on the first of the month and the 15th of the month. And another type of pay period is monthly. This is not as common, but you simply receive 12 paychecks per year. And that makes sense because there's 12 months in a year. And for this situation, your payday falls on the same date of the month. For example, you could be paid on the 15th of each month. So let's do some problems that you're going to have to deal with this vocabulary. Let's look at a problem like this. Problem one here. I'll go ahead and read it and we'll see if we can figure this out. It says John works at all you can eat five times fried chicken wings for all. That sounds delicious. He is paid bi-weekly. His annual salary is $54,200 right here. What is his bi-weekly salary to the nearest cent? So when I'm dealing with problems, story problems, I always like to underline or read the final question. And this is a good test taking strategy as well. I want to know what the bi-weekly salary is. And hopefully you remember that bi-weekly is 26 pay periods. So now we should be able to deal with this problem here. We have the annual salary right here. An annual is yearly, so his annual salary is 54200 So whenever you're going from the annual salary to the bi-weekly salary, you will divide by the pay periods, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So his yearly salary is 54200 and I'm going from annual to bi-weekly, so I will divide. If I was going in the other direction, I would multiply, and you'll see that in the next problem. So I'll take the annual salary, $54,200, and divide it by 26 to see how much he gets 
for each paycheck. So let me do that really quickly. I'll take the 54,200 and I will divide it by 26 and I get 2084 point six one five three eight five now I don't want to write this all out we're dealing with money right so I'm gonna round it to the nearest cent and my cents place is right here so I gotta decide is this gonna be 61 cents or 62 cents right here well the number next to the one is a five so if the number next to the one is five or greater we'll just bump this up to a two so this will be 2084.62 and that is his bi-weekly salary so in other words he's going to receive each paycheck two thousand eighty four dollars and sixty two cents and you can check that if you take this 2084.62 times the 26 you'll get his annual salary but that's kind of how you work these Let's look at another problem right here. It says Lily, John's wife, also works at All You Can Eat Five Times Fried Chicken Wings for All. She owns the store and by default is John's manager. She gets paid bi-weekly as well. Her bi-weekly salary is $3,763.28. What is her annual salary so let's underline this right here I always like to underline the final question so now we're kind of going in the other direction here's how much she gets paid by week by weekly right here she gets paid by weekly let me highlight this instead her bi-weekly salary is right here so whenever you're going from bi-weekly to annual you multiply so it's kind of reversed from the other problem but it's the same amount of pay periods so all I need to do here is take her bi-weekly salary and multiply by 26 so I really want you to analyze problem one and problem two problem one we divided problem two we multiplied you need to be clear on when to do what let's multiply this out so it's three seven 63.28 times 26 and let's see what that gives us let me make sure I punch that into my calculator correctly 3763.28 times 26 and that is 97845845.28 and that is her annual salary and if you compare this to John's annual salary hers is higher because she owns the store let's look at another problem problem three Alyssa the accountant loves working with numbers her lifelong dream was to become a math teacher but it didn't work out for her for now she is paid semi-monthly her semi-monthly salary is one thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars what is her annual salary so let's underline the final question I want to know her annual salary why don't you pause the video and see if you can get this one welcome back well when you go from semi monthly to annual you multiply so hopefully you're kind of getting the feel of this when you want to find the annual salary in these situations you multiply so let's take her semi monthly salary and you need to remember how many pay periods are there in semi-monthly? Do you remember? Hopefully you remember it's 24, right? So semi-monthly implies 24. So let's work this out. We're going to take her semi-monthly salary and we'll multiply it by 24 to get her annual salary. And let me do that real quick. That's 1999 times 24 and that equals 4 the seven thousand nine hundred and seventy six dollars and that was that's probably her starting pay as an accountant accountants can make much more than this and that's how much she would get paid yearly let's try one more problem here it says Justin works at a jello factory how interesting he makes different types of jello all day long he loves his job his weekly salary is $500.25. His employer decided to change the pay period to semi-monthly. 
what is John's annual salary? So there's two questions here. And what will John's semi-monthly salary be to the nearest cent? Why don't you try part A, pause the video, and see if you can get part A. Welcome back. Well, let's, let's look at this. We want to know his annual salary. And we're given his weekly salary right here. So when you go from weekly to annual, you multiply. So we're going to take his weekly salary of 500 point two five and we'll multiply that by what it's a weekly salary how many pay periods in a weekly salary hopefully you remember 52 so we'll multiply 500.25 500.25 times 52 and his annual salary is twenty six thousand thirteen dollars so that's how much he makes at the jello factory now let's look at part B. Now remember, this is his annual salary. Part B says John's employer is going to change the way he gets paid. It, it'll be changed to semi-monthly. In other words, what will John's semi-monthly salary be to the nearest cent? So whenever you go from annual back to semi-monthly, you divide. So I'll take the annual salary of 26,013, and I'm going to divide it by what? Think semi-monthly. How many pay periods are there when it's semi-monthly? It's 24. So I'll take this annual salary and divide it by 24. And that will give me his semi-annual or semi-monthly salary. So let me do that on my calc. 26, 0, 1, 3 divided by 24. And that equals 1, 0, 8, 3, and I'm going to round it up to 88 cents. So that means he gets paid twice a month, semi-monthly, and each paycheck he will get $1,083.88. Well, I hope you found these problems helpful, and good luck when you're doing these in your finance class. Have a great day.